I can tell you right now uh, from uh, uh, everything about. <laughs> listen, when you said you were sliding down the pole, my phone was like, "What's her Instagram?" I'm like, "Listen, Kemper <laughs> Dwarf." <laughs> can I add to this? Yeah. Being a married man, one of the things that I regret while dating, not nothing to do with my marriage, I regret that I wasted time not spending time learning me Come on. with other people. Wow. And That's I was, where it's at right there. I was thinking that while you were saying, like, um, like ask what they're about, like, sometimes you need to ask yourself, yeah. like, 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 reflect on your own situation, try to figure out, like, what's best for you and, and what it works for you there. and why the situation didn't work out. Kenny, yeah. is, is that why you mentioned the other time that you say you, you didn't know your value or you didn't know your worth? You didn't yeah. understand your worth. Man, listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. If we go to my three relation, three relationships, the one woman who knew she wasn't gonna be with me taught me a lot about who I was as a person. Mm. She also taught me. She she taught me etiquette. She was an event planner, so she taught me etiquette. Mm. She taught me travel. She taught me all this other stuff. But she said, "I'm not gonna be with you." And so mm. I have a lot of respect for her as a person because we had an understanding. Mm. You, we 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 we're, we're in two different worlds. Yeah. And but here, if I can if I can help you with this, understand this. I'll talk to her to this day. But if I could, I tell her thank you. I tell mm. her thank you. you help you help a certain you help expose me to something that I didn't know. The other woman, the other woman who by far was probably my worst situation, taught me long suffering and patience. So then when I got married, I was able to deal with. I was able to have a level of peace and patience dealing with my wife. Because I learned it from a woman who would never be my wife, but she treated me like shit. So then when I go to somebody who treated me like a king and I had to also deal with the negative that came with my marriage, mm. I'm like, hey, okay, okay, this ain't uh, so bad. This ain't so bad. And so I wouldn't tell that, I wouldn't tell that sketcher, thank you. But however, I would, <laughs> I would say that <laughs> while you're single, while you're single, it's okay to learn you through other people. It's okay for you to, and I ain't saying go fuck everybody, but I'm saying be it's be okay with but with, with serial dating. So you can learn who you you don't have to that long term that given act acting as if you're married while you're in a relationship that <laughs> is trash. <laughs> trash. <laughs> I like the way yeah. you're not lying man. That Listen a lot of us have had some experiences and some situations that you have to understand it, it it's it it's not it wasn't the end of us okay because a lot of stuff is it's it's not uh what we had may not be what we wanted or what we want today and so you saying that was important tonight um because listen man if you're not, if you don't know your full potential, yes. your full value, you are not marriage material. Yes. You're not ready to Thank be you. in a relationship. That's right. Because you're never going to get the things that you need to fulfill who you're going to be. Yeah. And that's why a lot of people be like, this is not the person I married. He was a complete different person. Or man, look, when I married her, she was this way and that they don't they don't understand you you married potential you didn't marry what they were going to be yeah. you know what happens too sometimes sometimes we marry a person who has not gotten clear on who they are or their purpose and what happens is they get into the marriage then the person finds out their purpose and they switch yeah. and it can be a good look finding mm -hmm. your purpose and knowing who you are you have to do that you have and to but yeah. what I'm saying is, uh -huh. when you do it within a marriage, it can be unfair to the person you marry because you're different. It's like, hey, you up here, you work out all the time, you're disciplined, you're very articulate, you study. I ain't married this person. And Maybe I've heard so out. many people bash their exes and saying, it, like, they, they, they mask who they really were. Or they, 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 I'm like, no, they didn't. They hadn't grown into who they, they were. Hadn't. Exactly. That's why it's important to, to get clear on who you are. You know what I mean? And if when a person you... grows into the, who they are, sometimes you have to evolve too. Because let me tell you something. 
True. Don't be that. Don't be that woman. Don't be that man who uh, you 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 give up on somebody. Mm -hmm. You blink your eyes, and now they didn't reach their potential and they value, and now they 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 have elevated, and and they on a different level, and they walking around with the woman getting them and doing all the things you wanted them to do for you. Also, it, it, it happens in a blink of an eye. Be careful. Also, let me say this to single men and this personal experience and, and single women, y'all probably can take this too. Be careful dating divorced people. Mm -hmm. Be so very conscious of dating divorced people. Um, do, they, do they have a, do they have do they have less of a tolerance? Is it, a, is it well, <laughs> well, so what happens is this in my experience. <laughs> You're talking about men dating a woman that's been divorced. Yes. Okay. In my experience. This is a I've warning dated, for men. I've dated two women that were divorced night and day. Mm -hmm. And the one woman wanted me to hurry up and become a, a husband material for her. She wanted me to become a man that she deemed me to be her husband. And the other woman compared me to her husband. And I was neither one of these guys. Mm -hmm. I was neither one of these guys. I wasn't ready to be married. I And, and and I had so many reserves and kickback. I'm, I'm a Republican. You got to understand. I want to know. We're we talking details, details. Don't say that today. They in a lot of trouble. Hey, listen. <laughs> he Democrat fine, today. I'm, no, I'm never Democrat. But let me tell you, because they believe it's bullshit. But let me say this. I I I got to know details. I want to know details. I want to know. I want to know policies. I want to know why you want me to be this way. Why? Why didn't it work in your marriage? What happened? And. That taught me so much about me as a person. If you can date, I'm not saying that this is no knock to divorce women. This is no knock to, this is my experience. If you can date a woman who has not been married, you know, or a woman who has had time to heal from her divorce, let's say that. <laughs> Somebody said Coach Kim has been divorced. Have you seen I've never that? been married. <laughs> He talking about, and then he gonna say based off body language. <laughs> Boy, go to bed. <laughs> yeah, so, you, but I do have something to say about oh, that. that. Is so oh, funny. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. That's good. No, Kenny, I, I completely agree. Another thing um, to add with that, I've had three relationships with men who were divorced. However, the ones that I dated were newly divorced. I would also say don't date a newly divorced person. What I yeah. noticed, again, we're talking about uh, the, the gentleman you all were talking about how men are with communication. Mm -hmm. What I found was a lot of them was like, no, I'm good. Like, I'm ready to date. And I'm like, we're cool, right? Mm -hmm. And what I think some emotions came up for them that they weren't quite ready for as it related to their uh, ex-wife. And then a lot of times men take a heavy financial hit after a divorce. So there's a lot of rebuilding that they're doing. Mm. So with me as a woman who is not rebuilding, I'm stable. You getting with a guy that's like just trying to get it, get back on his feet. He really just doesn't have the emotional capacity to take you on. Mm. Okay. So it, it's not that divorced people are bad. Like Kenny said, that we're not saying that you're bad. We're saying that be conscious that they have a different mindset yes. of a person that is single and hasn't been married before. Like, you know what I mean? So I, I actually was able to dodge a whole bullet recently with somebody that had just gotten divorced and kind you know, that he's missing. He was married for 20 years. He misses his wife. He misses that feminine energy. Right. So what, wow. you know what he's about to do with me? Drain the hell out of me. Wow. Hey, hey, KP. Are you talking about, listen, you're talking about to the point to where I was drained so bad in that relationship. See? See? To the point to where I was contemplating suicide. I was dealing with anxiety. I was mm. dealing with shit. I took on shit that yes. had nothing, that was not even in my character. Yes. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Because I, had, because I well, came in contact with somebody who... They didn't know, and I, I don't. I don't blame. They don't know. Yeah, they're not ready. Now you know that. Now you know this can also very well. People who have they don't even have to be married. But they can be in some. Uh, they have. They could have been in some bad relationships. They can also have what I call, and what you're talking about is residue. 
and this yeah. residue it stinks and it and it will put you in a uh emotional state of depression and different things because you I like bet. i can't even love this person the way i know how to love somebody because yeah. they they they're they so they jacked have, up they just don't have the capacity at that time to, to yeah take they're not ready to receive it. It. i thought it was me and i was yeah. too young to understand and like i said I, I at the time i had dated older women and she was she was se several years older than me and i'm like wait a minute I know I ain't perfect, but God damn it, I ain't that. Now, wait a minute. You're not going to put this on me. You're not going to make That's me. Real. And I'm talking about. So, you, so you've heard you just like my ex-husband or you just like my ex. or you just like this. You, you and him. I, I've heard. No, no, listen, let me tell you something. I, I know Trey you. heard it. <laughs> she has I've heard said, it. She has said some of the most hateful things to me that I would dare not repeat. Mm. I would dare not repeat. She has said some of the most hateful things to me. And then, you know, I'm listen, one of her one of her love languages or way of feeling love was abuse because she was abused. Mm. And I'm not an abuser. So I don't know how to, I don't know how to get up and I want to slap the shit out of you. But my first response is to leave. Mm. Oh, you just yeah. like you just like that nigga. You just like no, 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 no. You understand? Like I'm two, I'm two steps away from snapped. Mm. So I gotta leave because I don't even hate you. I don't even know why. I don't even know why why you feel this way about me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel it. these feelings aren't, aren't the same. Fair. They not mutual. I, I'm leaving because I don't hate you. I, no, I'm leaving because I, oh, I, 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 I am right now. I gotta go. <laughs> I, I refuse to put my hands on you. I refuse to be in a situation where I have some type of domestic violence. And then the wrath that I'm getting is in response to a hurt that had nothing to do with me. And it's unhealthy. It's yeah. unhealthy. It's unhealthy mentally and physically. And people will drain you to a place. And I know people that were in top shape. And, I, and a lot of people, sometimes when they get married, they be like, oh, you got that married weight on you. Well, sometimes it's, it's depression. Come on. It's, it's not on. happy weight. Stop telling everybody who's gained weight when they got married. They got happy weight. No, no. This is weight for me eating at McDonald's because she don't cook. This is weight that I don't feel like working out because I'm depressed. Yeah. Everybody got married and got happy weight. Hey, Some of this hey I got 30 more minutes if you ain't got to go nowhere because I ain't. Hey, listen. I mean, I, it's up to Trey. I'm I'm in I'm locked in tonight and I know I know I know <laughs> I know the people this is dove into a whole nother because of my married people are up now because you know married, well, I got a lot of married people can't about. sleep. They up now, they like, yeah, tell me more because we ain't having sex tonight. These are all the people <laughs> up tonight ain't having sex. If they on right now, it's like, yeah, you're right. And it's okay because people need well, to understand. Okay. Pe no, it is because okay. let me tell you why, Kim. Because people okay. need to know why they're getting cheated on. People well, need yeah, to, yeah. people, and not only that, people need to know why men <laughs> are leaving them. People need to know why women are leaving them. People need to know why your That's relationship true. not working out. Huh? Yeah. Well, can I say? Okay, I got something to share. The 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 one of the guys that was just had just gotten divorced. We would be on the phone or whatever, like Facetime, and I would see something on a commercial that reminded me, like, oh, I need to get a cure. Right. So mm -hmm. I'd be like, oh, I got to get a cure. And every time I would say that, he would say, you got a job. You can afford it. And I would be like, huh? Why is this? Like, he would just say it from nowhere. So like the third time after he said that, I said, excuse me. I said, why do you do that? Do you think I'm implying that I want you to buy me something? Mm. He said, yeah. Why? Wh wh what other reason are you saying it? I said, because it just came mm. on TV. That's why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all know. He what he was doing was and he eventually told me this. His ex-wife, he bought her, she had every Eve Saint Laurent, Saint John, this, all of that stuff, right? And do you know she never ever even bought him a card for his birthday? Never gave him a Christmas gift, right? So he told me, he was like, Man, I just feel like that's what women do. And you weren't finna sit here and misuse me, but I was like, Kim, a I'm lot of people, a lot of people stay in broken relationships I get because it, they I'm don't want to be embarrassed. Better. They, I especially people that have been married before or I have had it. failed relationships, they they don't want to look like the person that man. It's gonna look like it's my fault that it didn't work it. out because this is the I second time, this is the third time, this is the but fourth like time. But like Kenny said, I'm paying for something that I have not done. I didn't do anything to you. 
it literally is something that just came on TV, and I'm like, I gotta get me a. That's it. A curing. Ain't getting get no, no curing off me. me. Now, how, how about this? <laughs> this is the funny part. This is the key key of it all. That Christmas came. Not only did he buy me a curing, he made sure to get it in my favorite color with a bunch of other stuff. Right. So as soon as he knew, okay, you're not trying to use me. It was like all the floodgates open, but I was, but it made me very uncomfortable. He was Ken just like, I'm like, what the heck? Kenny and Trey, let me ask y'all this because I'm. I I don't know if it's different for a man, but let me tell you about me. Like, I can I can sniff a gold digger out like in seconds, okay? And then I don't I don't worry about them because I understand and I tell people I'm with all the time, whoever you are to me, money come and go. So I'm not a big I'm not finna harp over no money. You tell me you want some red bottoms, you mean something to me, you probably gonna get them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna be at home writing down. Well, she did cook this day. She did, you know. The, the head was bomb. Nah, look, money come and go. And so you understanding that if I'm in a position to get you something nice at that point in time, um, it's, it's because I love you or care about you. Now, I don't know if Kenny and Trey is different in this aspect. And they like, look, if we ain't in a certain, if you ain't my wife, because I heard people say that, if you ain't my wife, you ain't getting no red bottle. No, nah, bro. I bought my wife red bottoms the third day I was with her. And y'all yeah. weren't married. They uh, understand that people. Hey, people yeah. They were not married. Day three. And that's what lets you know that Kenny is marriage material. Because again, you don't have to keep saying, nah, that's for my husband. That's no. for my wife. That's for the person. See, see the crazy part was she didn't ask me for she didn't ask me for red bottoms, right? Right. My wife asked me for this particular YSL purse. And when they brought it out, the purse was several thousand dollars and i was like oh shit <laughs> and she was like yeah i want that purse and i was like okay and i'm 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 trying to figure out how we gonna get this purse like you, you expected me to get it or whatever now let me tell you what the unselfish me did mm. went bought the purse and then in return, oh, yeah, that's, 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 y'all are a beautiful couple. Hey, in return, though, peep game. In return, whatever I asked my wife for from that day forth, I have not had a problem because she know that if he wants it, he can have it. If I want it, he'll get it for me. You know? Mm. And so now it's to the point to where and after I bought her the purse, that purse came with, hey, don't play, don't break my heart. If this is some bullshit, let me know now. I ain't got time for no games. I just finished with some bullshit. I'm, I'm telling you straight for it. This is what I want. This is how I want to do it. Now, you can be honest with me. If we're going to be on bullshit, let's be on bullshit together. You, you can go your way. I can go my way. And we, when we meet up in the world, we'll meet up in the world. Well, six, yeah. months later, six months later, we was engaged. Not, uh, eight months later, we was, we was married. There you go. And so... Cause it I don't take long, do it. it. I didn't have to play them games. I didn't have to play them games. So that one, that that one, that one purse, that one purse opened up a whole different level of lifestyle mm. for me because now I can give you anything, anything you want. I'm gonna give. And I wouldn't do that. But now other women, I have bought Louis and Gucci and you know and. It was an investment on nothing. Mm. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> it was. A, it was. There is no return on the investment. You, the fact, you bought some Gucci for some spoiled coochie. Come on, no, sir. No, 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 no. That didn't stop you from doing what you did for your wife. How exactly. interesting! Because you do it case by case, like you've been saying all night. Because, because, because when That's people, a good thing. because, it, because, very, because, very because, because being ready for a relationship is about who a person. Is that's right, and not what a person has. There you, he didn't go. Have, there you go. Know. He's gonna last relationship affect the way he was gonna treat the next person, hey, which listen, a lot of people do. But the <laughs> woman who I, the woman who at the time, the woman who I had spent the most money on to this day, still wears that Louis Vuitton person. She married to a, she married to a whole other man, and she wears the one that she was specific to ask me to get. 
And, and, I, and I, because I, her new man ain't her husband. Probably ain't I don't know what he can and can't do. That got nothing to do with me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm know. Telling you. you know what I do? You know what I do to all my exes that still got on the red bottles and the purses and everything I bought them? I go and like the picture. Nice purse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm petty like that because I feel like it, but I don't. Not that I care, but it's just who I am. That's just my nature. But <laughs> I have to ask y'all this, and y- y- any of y'all can answer. It. Do you have a right to treat your partner different because you're mad at them? Like I'm mad at you, so don't even ask for sex. I'm mad at you, so no, you're not finna get a purse. I'm mad at you, no, I'm not finna cook you dinner. And do you and have a, that right? In marriage, no. In a relationship, just a boyfriend, girlfriend, you can do whatever the hell you want to do. Okay. But in marriage, in marriage, marriage you got to figure that shit out. In, yeah. in marriage, because my married people are up right now, my single people on the pole. Hey, in, in marriage, in marriage, I ain't yeah. on the pole. I wish I was. But anyway. y'all know it's a rule. Y'all know it's a rule in marriage. This is supposed to be the rule. Never go to sleep mad. Talk right. it out. Figure it out. Yeah, now, totally agree with yeah, that. Marriage, figure it out. Yeah, Trey. Trey, you 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 you've had uh, people flip on you. I say it like that. <laughs> like, man, don't even ask me. Uh, like, like sometimes a woman will like block you from calling her like for hours. Like, I don't want to oh, deal no. with you. They change their cadence, as Kim told us earlier. All right. Like, do people have that right? And then they come back and say, I, "I'm sorry, but I was mad." Or you didn't, I hear this, I, I've heard this before. It's very immature. I've heard this before yes. in a conversation, in a counseling session. And I had a Steve Harvey counselor. This happened to me. He wanted to get her the Steve Harvey answer. And I thought he had my back. And I told him he was a lame and I ain't paying for no more sessions. <laughs> <laughs> the girl said, I didn't do A, B, and C, and D for him because I don't think he deserved it. Wow. He told her, well, you have that right. Ooh. I said, look here, Steve. I don't know if you got to sell more books or what. <laughs> but I don't think you should have told yeah. her that because I, it, because, I, because I wanted him to understand I'm leaving her. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and that crap ain't going to work in her next relationship that you just fed her. Now, till this day, she don't have a man and she ain't going to get one. You know why? Because she, in her mind, she feels like she don't have to do nothing because somebody don't deserve it based off of based off of what they did for her that day or how they treated her that day or that week. That's how you're going to act that's for the, for, for a, a duration of time in this relationship. Oh, that's, that's a horrible way to act. Yeah, you carry it on for weeks and weeks and weeks with yeah. this bad energy. But that's kid behavior. That's elementary, right? So a lot of women do. Oh, I know. I get it. No, I know. I, I coach a lot of And them. think they so marriage look, material. Relationships and marriages are for grown folks, okay? Mm-hmm. People who are emotionally mature, emotionally stable, emotionally secure. And you only can get that if you have that within yourself first. The, mm-hmm. the person you're with can't force you to be that. Yeah. You have to do that. So that's what, again, think about it. If I if I change how I treat you based on how you're acting in the relationship, that also means I'm looking for you to make me happy. I don't have happiness unless you give it to me. Yeah. And that's when you're outsourcing your responsibility that you should have for yourself, right? So even, and I, I completely understand what Kenny is saying. Me personally, if I'm in a relationship, I'm definitely not going to do the whole um, silent treatment. That's a form of emotional abuse. Even psychiatrists and psychologists will tell you that. Yeah. You cannot, that's a sign of, that is a part of emotional abuse when you do the silent treatment. And it's control, Boyfriend, right? Boyfriend, girlfriend, or married. And it's control, right? It is. That's why it's abuse. That's why we call it emotional abuse. One of the biggest issues that uh, married people have is a Come man on. will uh, say, uh, she's too controlling. And then women don't think they are and say, no, nah, I ain't controlling. He just need this, 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 and this. They got a whole, they got a checklist for the man. No. <laughs> just gave me like, the you know what? Some women, they don't want a leader, okay? They don't want a leader. They whoa, don't whoa, want say a... that again? Some women don't want a husband, which means they don't want a leader. No, they, they want, want a husband, but they don't want a leader. But a, hu- they they want a husband, husband. Is, they have a husband, 
is to have a leader. But a when lot you, of these women, trying, Kim, I understand what you're saying. They don't I'm get that. Is, I love what, what you're I'm saying. saying is I'm going to give the truth. I'm not going to give the bullshit. And, and that's okay? why I have you on here because that. I need you to I'm preach to the these women today. Yeah, I'm going to give the truth. Ladies, if you are signing up for a husband, you're signing up to have a leader. Now, if you don't trust that you can, he can lead you, don't marry him. Yeah. That's mm. your fault if you, you marry the leader that can't lead. That's now, you. now K KP, here's the better part to that. A lot of people are Well, married. add to, not better. Add, I'll add to. Come on, language, mm -hmm. sir, language. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm playing. Go ahead. Yeah. The, the 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 reason why I said the better part to that is a lot of people are married to people they aren't, aren't even supposed to be with. Right, that's why I just said what I said. So if you if you talking about if you that's talking why I about said what I said, if, but but here's people people don't even know the signs of being married to the wrong person, and if right. marriage is give us marriage, a few, give us a few, Kenny. All right. So you talking about being married to the wrong person or being married to the right person? Anytime you hear either way, either way Wait, you want to go. Well, actually, it really should start before the marriage, right? So, could you say how do they vet before okay. they marry the wrong? How do you know eh, this is gonna be the wrong person for me? Well, I think I think that. Would, that and would people who are not married can answer this question too, because you, this could be, and that's exactly why I'm not married because I vet it. Now, yeah. if you vet it and you're not married, that's different than uh, ain't nobody yeah. good enough for me because we have those too. Well, first thing first, I think anything that's forced, anything that you that you have to force, mm. if you got to force a person to listen to you, you got to force a person to understand you. Oh. It, that, that, that's the those are symptoms of like maybe that's not the right person. That's one. Two, anything that you have to anything that stresses you out and you can't find relief from that person. And I'm talking about that person does something that stress you out and you can't find really y'all can't find a common ground. There is no marriage is based off of one key word that people lose sight of. It's called compromise. And if you can't find that compromise, that common ground with the because two people becoming one is never going to be easy because you are 100 percent this way. I'm 100 percent that way. And we got to figure out how to make that 100 percent come to the middle. So if there is no common ground before marriage, chances mm. are there might not be no common ground in marriage. No, it's guaranteed. Mm. It's guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. That will not be. Last, mm. here, here's, here's the last thing I'm looking for before I, after common ground, after all that other stuff. If I did not, because see, as a man, we want mm -hmm. not only we want sex and uh, to be affirmed and all that other stuff. But if, if there were certain things on my list for me personally that she wasn't checking off, I'm not, I'm not, you, you're not the one for me. And I'm not going to try to teach you how to do it. I'm not going to see, I can't help. I can help you become better. You can help me become better, but I'm not, I'm not a teacher. I'm not a trainer. I'm not going to, I am not going to train you on the things I like and want. Either you got it and we can enhance it together or you don't have it. And I'm not going to try to force it to be something that it ain't. Hold on one second, guys. I got a lot of people hitting me. They want to call in. Uh, they just got intrigued. 773-340-1894. Trey, open up the phone lines. 773-340-1894. I'm going to leave that on the bottom of the screen. Uh, I don't know if they agreeing or not disagreeing. They're not saying, but I guess we're going to find out. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I totally agree with what you just said, man. That's to make it, and it makes sense. I mean, it's I don't I don't understand like when you like you'll explain that to somebody, and and they won't and they won't get it. I'm like, what what part are you not getting about <laughs> you know uh, compromise and working things out and and man, it, it, it's just crazy how uh, stubborn and selfish some people can be. And just blatantly, you know, they, they won't even hide it from you. <laughs> because, again, just like the church, like I said earlier, people will paint the picture of who they want you to be. Yeah. And, and it's like, baby, I'm bigger than that. I'm better than that. Hey, Jay, can <laughs> I add this, too? Yeah. I thank you, K K uh, KP. Add, let me add, too. Uh, <laughs> I also learned that I'm not always right. Yeah, Self okay. Self-awareness is the best. It's key. It's oh, man. <laughs> And yes. that's that's leadership as well, but because you are not a, you are not, of self. Yeah, you, you're not. 
you're not a leader if you can't if you don't understand where you made mistakes or you know what this is not my area of expertise let me get some help yeah like you're not a leader because you decide you're just gonna carry all the weight on yourself no you're an yeah. idiot no. <laughs> hey listen i when my when my when my wife told me certain things that she noticed about me some things i didn't argue because i already knew they was there and we don't like we don't like people telling us our truth mm. uh, what they realize about you she said she said babe uh, here's something simple okay we and we keep we'll keep it light babe i don't like that you leave the toilet up the toilet seat up at night i'm like mm. and i could have been like well just let the damn seat that just no mm -hmm. now i'm intentional thinking when i go to the bathroom in the morning, I have to let that seat down because she, eventually she going she gonna to come in the bathroom at some point or another, and I don't want that to be something that I'm not paying yeah. attention to. If you, um, if you, if, if you are, like, care about that person, and uh, you'll be considerate and want to do yes. this. Like, you know what? I'm glad you told me that, which is the other thing with communicating, yeah. like, what, what your likes and dislikes, which is another key thing in any kind of relationship that you want to work. And you you wouldn't even mind. You're like, you know what? Uh, now now that's in, like you said in your conscience to yeah. do that. Also to that trait, my wife also I'm conscious about certain things that I don't want. Bet you could drive any one of the cars that got gas in it because I make sure I put gas in the other cars for you. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't want you having to be at the gas station putting gas in the car. Cause I if we we act like gender roles ain't a real thing. It is a fucking real I thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, oh, this is this is big, Kenny. Whoa, whoa. I love gender roles. Be careful. <laughs> Let me tell you something right now. We on social media. Be careful. I'm a, because I'm okay with gender. Roles. I'm just gonna keep it 100. <laughs> Women and men today yes. have a, a a a gender identity crisis. Yes. Where men are acting like women, and women are acting like men. Yes. There is a there is a gender identity crisis and i'm not even talking about homophobia and, no, and homosexuality no, right now i'm talking about just, people. just man etiquette women etiquette you know pumping gas you know oh. women i've i saw a woman i yeah, i saw funny. a woman on a light pole like, I, don't, I don't know what cable company i'd like it's a woman on a light pole with the jacket on, with the helmet. And and then I saw a man uh, uh, doing florist work. He cutting roses and flowers. Yeah. I see, I see men in the kitchen getting down cooking, not because they want to, because they have to. Okay, because I was about to say my dad cooks all the time, but right, not because they want to, because, because sometimes yeah. because because sometimes it's, it's he got three hundred recipes, baby. It, he yeah. <laughs> oh, we got men, chef, absolutely. Yeah. But okay. but when it becomes a man's role, it's a problem. Yeah, and when he's married, when 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 a woman is uh uh. Give me an example. When a woman, well, I got, is, I'm gonna have to say this because I know the ladies are gonna want me to say this. Are you? At saying or advising that a woman should cook mostly? No, 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 no. That's, okay. Uh, what? What? what well, I'm, no, I'm, at, I'm only. At, it's okay if that's what you're saying. What but I'm when you say if a man what, has to, that's like not. As well, well, here's my rule with that. Before okay. you get married, first of all, all of that should be contractual. People yeah. don't believe in prenups, but I believe in putting more than prenup is more about money being dispersed. Yeah. People don't make make it. A, right. A, a prenup can include. Listen. It's your job to make sure the kids are straight while I'm working, it, uh, and it's my job to do X, Y, and Z. It, it, listen, on okay. Monday, listen on Monday and Wednesday you cook. On Tuesday and Thursday I cook. And, and, and if we, do that. you know, it's whatever y'all agree to. It's what you agree yeah. to. And that makes sense. Before you say uh, I do, not not conversation about it. Talk about it. Figure out what's, what works best for both of y'all. It's contractual. And so we have a gender identity crisis where men are being soft and women are being hard. How about women, women and, 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 and let me say it for the big thing, because cooking and all that, that can be, that can be, you know, switch. but even in conversation, women are, are stepping up as if they're the protectors. Yeah. If they're the, they want a box. 
Yeah. They want to they want to pop off. <laughs> and, and, and 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 me and Adam Moore. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm I'm I gotta address that. I mean, it's good. Women are trying to be alpha, and I'm gonna play this video before you dress it. They're trying to be alpha males, and men trying to be poodles. Listen, listen to this. What it shows is you ladies are putting little to no thought into even the the foundation of a man. You damn sure ain't putting any thought into what you gonna do for him. Mm -hmm. It's all about. What what I want is what women want, and I'm not thinking about what the men want. I mean, I... you know what that told me right there. <laughs> A lot of women aren't ready to accept their gender role Be because they haven't they haven't accepted the fact that a man needs me to be X, Y, and Z to this. Yeah. They'll just say I'm not that, so he ain't getting that. So, they have a gender identity crisis. So let me say this. In my household, the reason why I even talk about the gender roles is because my wife breastfeed. There's nothing I can do for my daughter. <laughs> I, mean, I like had, that, Kenny. I like that. It's nothing I can do. There's nothing. Ain't no. Ain't nothing coming out this nipple. Yeah. And my daughter. So she has to take on that role to do such, right? But then I also don't want to see my wife taking out garbage. If my wife take out garbage, that to me is saying I didn't do which, what I should have did. And that's her saying to me also, indirectly, you ain't did, you ain't did your shit. Mm. So I'm clear uh, a woman should do housework, cooking can be shared. Uh, men should do jobs. Women should do that physically. Okay, I agree with that. But what I'm saying to you is this, though. Me and my wife also have an understanding. You ain't got a slave washing my clothes. Mm. You ain't got a slave cleaning up. The you house. got a maid. I mean, look. I do. See, they got a I service, but, which is good. I'm saying that's great. I ain't but, I'm but saying. the reason, but the reason why certain that, things. the reason why that even happened was because I was okay with that. They, I, want you, I don't want you cooking every night. Mm. So yep. There you go. Let's let's pick the nights that we that we will cook. Let's pick the nights when the chef will be here. Let's that's pick the night with pizza and tacos and all that other stuff. And let's let's figure that out and let's have that in yeah. our in our routine. And so now I take away, I take away 90% of the argument. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, babe, you at the gas station? Wait, I'm on my way. Do not get out the car. Why? Mm -hmm, yep. Because it's also sex traffickers who are right. waiting to see a woman jump out of her car and to take her. And you can't be so so much of a uh, thinking in your mind that you're an independent woman that you don't allow your man to do what he needs to do as a man for you. Yeah. If you if you're that much independent, you don't deserve a man. I'm just being 100 with you. Well, you should you just be single. You can yeah. you can be an independent <laughs> woman, but don't be one that need a man. Don't be the one that need a man. Yeah. Because I well, I would I... I would love to. I, I mean, when I was dating, I was looking for an independent woman because I didn't want. I had women who needed dependency, and it didn't work out for me because it, 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 it was too draining for me. After a while, it's like, all right, you spent all my money, and now you calling me broke. No, nah, that ain't that ain't even cool. Cause, 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 cause when I met you, you was homeless, and I took you in. But now I'm broke. But the thing is, we have independent women who don't know when to shut it down. Be quiet. Let my man handle it. I don't know the last time I heard a woman say, "You know what? I'm gonna let my man handle you. I'm gonna let my man handle this. Well, I'm gonna let my woman man out here." Okay. A woman on here Come that on, coach. put her hand up before Come you on, put coach. the video up. So this is what I want to say. Ladies, this is what, this is, because we have to practice this stuff, okay? When you mm -hmm. have a certain mindset, you got to get into the habit of letting that man be a man. So for instance, um, I remember me and my ex, we were at a, we were at a restaurant, okay? It was just me and him. When the bill came out, my boyfriend at the time, he looks at the bill, he like, hmm, they had a gratuity which typically in the Chicago land area, they don't do that with two people. Right. So listen, right. y'all. What was you I'm at Tavern on LaGrange? Hell no. Excuse me. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, they, so. they, add gratu <laughs> they add gratuity to your parking. No. Yeah. It's crazy. So, yeah. but no. So look, so, and this was years ago, but anyway, so the, the naturally how I am, it's like, oh no, waiter, come fix it. That's how I typically am, right? 
But I said, girl, let this man handle this. Let chill out, chill. Let let him handle it in the way he wants to handle it. And he did. He didn't trip about it. He just was, he told me, he was like, I was going to give him a lot more than what he put on here. But all right. Mm. I mm. let, but so that was how I started practicing. Shut up. Mm-hmm. Let that's how you let that man and, and, and Kim, do you're an alpha thing. woman. You're an alpha woman, right? Oh Jesus! I, I would say you're an alpha woman. It, it's okay. I'm but, feminine though. But but even an alpha <laughs> woman needs to know when to shut it down, when to stay in I think place. I, I would, when, I would when say when you, I'm see, a feminine tell, alpha woman. I would say tell, I'm a feminine alpha woman. That's when how you I tell would some women to stay in their place, stay in their role. They get offended because it's like. But we oh, don't. But but, but oh, we don't get offended. But we don't get offended when we have a role in a job. Hearn is laughing because I said alpha woman. Because Hearn, honestly, there are. I know it's not. Yeah, can you can you quali- not, can you can you qualify when you just called me an alpha woman? Because I don't so, think I'm a a dude in a job. Nah, dress. I don't. I don't mean. I, 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 I shouldn't say yeah. it like that. What no, I but uh, let uh, me say this, Kim. You are very you are very aware and you are very present. Yes. So, yes, I am. You know, you're not, you're not, you're not a timid woman. You, you, de- you damn sure uh, a man ain't gonna walk over you, Kim. And so, I don't think alpha woman, as in you are male, right? Okay, but thank you. Alpha woman, you can hold your own for sure. The level of independency you have is when I say an alpha woman is is so high that it's like, man, I don't know if she need a man, but. You you are different in that aspect. I, I that. do need a man. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. No, you're, I understand. I you're different it. in that well, aspect it's because it's good to hear. This. A lot of, a lot of them, it's good to hear. So yeah, I can know how I'm presenting. Ain't that sad? That's a sad thing to say to a. a, a that, that's sad. No, let me, but, let me but, tell but, you wait. the difference. Let me tell you the difference. The difference is Kim's attitude. You can be independent. You can be alpha. It's her attitude that that is going to attract her to having a husband. A lot of women had a wrong attitudes when they independent. Okay, I got you. Yeah. And, yep. you know, I, I'm doing what it's your attitude. my age, you know, I'm a 42 year old woman, right? I should be taking care of myself, right? I'm just adulting. Right. That's what <laughs> I say. Like, cause I know some women, they be like, oh, a man should want me cause I pay my own bills. I'm like, well, you should be doing that, right? And, and, and they so, be on section eight. <laughs> Girl, you ain't paying your own bills. The government <laughs> doing that too. <laughs> I, I do everything in this house. You getting link and section eight, baby. You are not that independent. Stop it. But I, I'm glad <laughs> you are very that, though, dependent on somebody you're so else. Funny. <laughs> right. But I, I have had, I remember going out to dinner with a gentleman and I, I, when we, we had leftovers and I was fixing his plate at the table and he was like, Kim, he said, you are so feminine. I said, yeah. He said, I would, you, I would never know that. On social media, and I'm like, what? What? I act like a dude or something? He was mm. like, no, you just like real solid. I'm like, mm. I'm supposed to be, but this is what uh, uh, some men uh, <laughs> they can't appreciate. Sometimes a solid woman who is gonna make sure he's good, yeah, and, like and it's a way solid. we do that. I like that word solid. Somebody yeah, said I, I, so when you come to the door. Uh, you come and say hello and how was your day? See, some men have specifics like, if you're not doing that, I can't marry you. And and how do you find that out not living with a person? How do you find that out? Well, you know what? I I, I wanted to say this about what Kenny said about that list. Kenny was talking about a list. The other thing, too, is having a, a realistic list that is based off of you and not what someone else told you. Okay, Realistic. so that's another thing in which, Ken, you know, Kenny is speaking from a sober-minded, mature man space. Correct, correct. This is what he, when he's saying, list, he's not talking about she suck my, do this, or she gonna pay me, or da 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 He doesn't have an unrealist, uh, uh, unrealistic list. Uh, also, he's well, not going by that's what maybe list. some, maybe some, <laughs> but I'm just saying, or whatever, but I'm just saying, and well, some, and... Coach, and you might have just checked me tonight. Maybe I'm being unrealistic. No, I mean, I don't have a problem with doing that, any of that. But that, what I'm saying is that mouthpiece something that's be un- in the right place. Okay, but what I'm I got you. But wait a minute. So that's a good thing you just said that. That might yeah. be on your list. But what if that ain't on Kenny's list? But he putting it there because 
oh, all men are supposed to do this. No. And, and, and nobody should yourself. do that. Ken Kenny's no, list I'm should saying, not be my list. I'm, my list should not be Trey's list. Yes. That's the point. So the only way you can know what you need on your list is if you are very cognizant and personally competent. You got to know you. I just wanted also, to put that part out also, there. To that point, that, that goes back to why I don't take information from people who have dealt with a lot of failures and stuff. Because thank you, uh Athena. She you she just said it really great. You start you start putting you start putting things in my mind that I started becoming aware of that I probably didn't have to look out for because that wasn't necessarily in my case. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm a firm believer that you are what you eat. You and you are what you intake, you are what who you around. And hold on, before we be nasty, <laughs> nah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm talking from a place of, I'm talking from a place of like, man, listen, I did not know what it was like to be financially stable until I got around people who was financially stable, who put mm -hmm. me in other rooms with people who were financially aware. That and Kenny, and Kenny, different you, conversation. You, you and didn't energy. start. And, and, and even though you were in a room with these people, you might not even have been at that level. But you said, you know what, this is where I'm supposed the mindset. to be. Yeah, this is what. But. I go, I go one step even backwards before we even got to the to the financial literacy. Like, I when I wanted to become a better musician, I hung out with better musicians. Yeah, there you go. I didn't hang out with guys who I felt was e either intimidated by me or just knew enough as me. I started being around guys who I'm like, okay, that's who I aspire to be. I saw you with Tim Davis, yes, and that's some, but that's that's yeah. a level of humility though. Yes. That's a level of humility to you got to kind of do this to go here. Yes. But, and, and can I just be honest with you, though? And Tim is the GOAT. I don't want you to slide past that. Tim is uh, the yeah, GOAT. I saw you with Tim Davis. Tim is the that, GOAT. Rockford natives and Rockford boys. Tim is, Steve, Tim is, shout out Aaron Tim Williams, Steve Goldsmith, Tim, Tim Davis. Y'all don't know him. Y'all sleep. Uh, a great. lot. What, what, what you just said is absolutely true. Uh, but a, a, a lot of people don't humble themselves enough to get to that point, though. Yeah. I, 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 and, and it's men and women. It's men and, it's men and women. A lot of men are, are, are so territorial. And but they like, aware, though. I, don't, I don't need that. You hey, know? Okay. I'm going to say but something that we didn't talk about. My yeah. wife makes way, my, my wife makes way more money than I ever could imagine. Well, Hold on. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, no. I'm, I'm going to say this because he ain't lying. <laughs> no. That's my money, though. So that's oh, okay. Money. Well, let yeah. me. But, okay. but she makes. Well, y'all won. All your all her money is y'all. Yeah. No, 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 no. At the time, that was, <laughs> that, was, at the time that, was my, that was all my money. But let me say this. Let me, let me be clear. My wife makes, I'm talking about, about leaps and bounds. Mm. She's in the 1% of the world. Well, we're in the 1% of the world. But she she started off before I got here in the one percent of the world, right? Mm -hmm. And what ended up happening was I couldn't come to her, telling her how to or this, that, and the third. But let me tell you what she did for me as a mm -hmm. man. When I talked, she listened. Woo. Then there was a level of correction of things that I didn't know. Mm. Right, babe, come on, let, let's 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 okay. Now let's 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 work on this. Let's mm -hmm. work. And she didn't belittle me in the process. Mm. And I didn't have to. Come on. I, I didn't have to go. I didn't. Ha, and I'm talking about, wait, listen, I, I'm talking about the one. When I say one percenters, I'm talking about legit one percenters, bro. I'm not. Right. I, I had to humble myself because I was not intimidated as a man by a woman with money. But I also was aware that I didn't know everything I needed to know when it came to wow. Why not? aware. Wow. He said he was aware. But wow. I wasn't aware to need it. So I hey. didn't come in here like, oh, I'm your bitch. You, oh, let's, that's my, no. Mm -hmm. I came in. You're still a man. Okay, so now, how do we, how do, okay, wait. Who, who's your tax person? All right, what's the conversation? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Then when I got in rooms that I didn't, I wasn't, when I got in rooms that, that conversation was above my understanding, mm -hmm. I listened. I shut yeah. up. I listened. So you can be a leader, what Kenny's saying, and still be in a place to learn. Still no, be in a mindset to you have to uh, uh, learn, humble yeah. yourself enough to it, say, it is all listen. About this but is I learned that from Bill. I learned that from Bill Gates, and I'm gonna okay. tell you. Okay. Woo! When you said Bill, I've got nervous. I thought he was gonna say Bill Cosby. I said, "Whoa!" No. I learned that show. from Bill Gates because what <laughs> Bill Gates said was, "I'm not the smartest man in the room." Yeah. 
He said, he said, I surround myself with people who are way smarter than me. Well, Donald Trump said the same thing, but no, but I'm talking on. about what I heard Bill Gates say. He said, oh, I'm not the smartest. I'm not the smartest. Man I know you're a Republican. I had to get no, that. No, no, out. no, 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 no. This ain't even about. This ain't even just about that. But mm. when 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 Bill when Bill Gates said he wasn't the smartest man in the room, that that let me know that I can still be the leader. Yeah, and I'm not yeah. the smartest. I can still be a leader. And I'm not the richest. I can still be a leader, and I'm not the one. I I can be in charge. Of, I can be in charge of my household, knowing that the money that comes through the door, whatever I was bringing in, and versus what she brought in, and I'm still the king of my castle, and I'm not a bitch to a woman who needs a a, a beard. Coach Kim, Trey, mm -hmm. Kenny, let me tell you something. When a, when a woman understands this, she is the ultimate marriage material. Because a lot of times, the woman is smarter. A lot of times, the woman, well, sometimes the woman might make more than a man. The woman may have better ideas or direction. Yes. But. Let that man be a man. When she understands that <laughs> it's not my position to belittle that man. And tell them, and and, and, and uh, you know, mm -hmm. tell them all these derogatory things and what he is mm -hmm. or what he, what he isn't, rather. Then you you fully are understanding that you are going to have a successful relationship because a, a lot of women don't know how to lead quietly. A lot of women don't know how to let their man look like the leader. I tell women all the time. And I'm going to be honest, I'm saying it now in front of y'all, so my friends will probably hate me, but I be telling y'all women all the time. I know that you are, listen, th the reason a man needs a woman is because, listen, a woman is supposed to help a man reach every goal that's set out. And so, yes, I understand that it was your plan. It was your money. It was your willingness I understand that. He wouldn't have got this if it wasn't for me. He wouldn't have got that if it wasn't me. I understand all of that. But you have to understand that's your purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Help me. Help meet them bills. Help meet no. that kind of... <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly I was like, man. I was thinking that exactly. But you know what? This so is, it goes it's, both it's ways. Interesting. This is what Kevin Samuels was talking about, though. And, yeah. and any right. video pretty much you see him talking about, a lot of these women who are multimillionaires, they had to be with a man who made more than them. And what he was saying mm. is, y'all are dismissing the, the one, the, the mm. most, the 99% who mm. aren't the one percenters. Y'all mm -hmm. are dismissing these men and they're phenomenal, great protectors and leaders and mm. all of that, and you're dismissing them. And nine and, times and out of 10, and and the women are out here. Listen, I'm a single woman, so I know right. I understand. I I I I am excited to have a husband. You know why? Because we are out here vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Just like Kenny said, hey, if my wife is at the gas station, babe, hold on. He said, Yeah, he's gonna do it because that's his wife, he loves her, but also, hey, it's a safety thing. Sex yeah. tracker traffic's out. He's right. When you're like me and you're single as a woman. You are vulnerable. And so, a man, a man baby, that's a millionaire. Let that man protect yeah, you. you yeah. know, even if he's not making the same level of money. And as a woman, I just told y'all earlier, and it's in us as women. We serve. So, babe, look, my thing is this. I don't have to make all the hard decisions. Here, here husband. Let yeah. that that's man me, protect you. Yeah. Let that man yeah. protect you. And don't be, don't be, don't be just getting into stuff because you found out your man can box. Don't be telling every nigga Thank on the you. earth, no, no, wait no, till no, I no. go home and tell my hood. Don't be, you know, it's, uh, man, it's people like this. It's women like yeah. this. It's yeah. like, like it, uh, you're going to get these hands. And then yeah. you go home and your husband like, I don't want to fight today. But see, on my one of the things on my list was I wanted a woman who was financially sound. So even if I did make all of the money, she could make sound decisions with the money. Then yeah. that's, I wanted that all my life. I wanted that all my life That's because huge. I saw my granddaddy go out and make all the money, but I saw my grandma make sure that the bills was paid. Mm. I saw my grandma never work a day in her life, and the house was fully furnished. 
full of food. Mm. And what I learned was I don't have to, I can go make the money. But if you know how to, if you know how to manage the money, then, mm. you know, cause I know me, I go make the money. I go make the money. I'm buying, I'm buying all of the shoes, me too. I'm buying all of the toys. I'm buying everything I, that, but then what I learned was this. Okay, hold on, babe. Hold on. Let's assess. Let's assess. Mm -hmm. Now, after you done bought, after you done spent $30,000 on shoes, how much did you save? Do you need this? Do you need that? Okay. And I didn't, I didn't learn that word assess until I was 30. I, 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 listen, <laughs> I just learned that, I just learned that word six weeks ago. Okay. I'm telling you, my when wife, my wife put things into perspective that I knew I wanted in a woman. I want I want you to be financially sound. I don't care. I don't care how the money come through the doors. I want to make sure that I don't lose it. I don't blow it. Yeah, I because mean, when you make your money, when you especially musicians, and let me yes. say this for the musicians, because musicians can make money every day. They had an opportunity to make money every day because there's funerals, there's weddings, there's birthday parties, there's Musicians are paid every day, okay. And when the money is always coming, it, it always feel like it ain't never gonna run out. It's like, mm -hmm. man, I can blow all this today because I got a gig tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And so we 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 don't learn about assessing until we need to assess <laughs> into yeah. something. Wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Lastly, yeah. to the point, replace DJs something. too. Right, yeah. I said like, like, wait, I, I should get some new speakers. Then, then you start thinking about it. Mm. You buy keyboards and speakers and mics. I need to manage things better. <laughs> and, and you like, wait, I ain't eat today after you didn't bought that. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> right. The last, the last thing, the last most important thing on my list that I had was, I want family. Yeah. I want family. So then, let me tell you what I stopped doing. I stopped putting things in front of my family. Mm. Now, when you hear me say that a church can't get me to come play for them, I heard was, you say that. And, when you, and, and, and that's the that's the honest to God truth. Why? Well, and why is that? Yeah, because I put church before my family for so long that mm. now, when I look at mm -hmm. it, I'm like, that was to a detriment to yes. my, my kid, my that's kids out of order prior to marriage. So now mm -hmm. I'm saying, okay, Come on. first thing first is this. Let me go back, rebuild this relationship with my kids and let me not never neglect the relationship with my wife. That's uh, a whole other topic. It right is because a lot of, a lot of churches, <laughs> pastors. It ain't just churches. It's, it, but yeah. see, here's the thing. It was because remember, I know people. Want I, to I'm saying people that because that's where we kind of It was a up. job yeah. that I put. In, it was a job that I mm -hmm. put in front of right. everything, and I ain't talking about this. Ain't got nothing to do. With, it was me. I didn't know no better. Yeah. So this, this ain't got right. nothing to do with the, the, the church. But, but I'm saying no, 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 no. CEO job. It could be anything. I'm yeah. saying to hear you understood family. Got you're right. First you're right. You're right. Any, this, yeah, that's, that's church what, job because I work whatever. For school. You absolutely and, right. You got. <laughs> Money and be responsible. You feel like you're doing the right thing by going to work. Yeah, nah. When you get that realization that you know building that relationship, especially with kids when they're young and stuff, you definitely got to be there for because, them more. Because that picture was painted for us that that was what we were supposed to do. Right. Yeah. I, I remember I worked at a school, and then it, I realized ten years into working in the school system, dang. I really never picked my daughter up from school, but yeah, wow. I'm making sure all these kids from school like getting mm. home with their parents every day. That yeah. hurt me. Yeah. And it's, so it's one of the reasons I quit. I'm like my daughter getting ready to go to high school, and I'm realizing I ain't never even wow. picked her up from school That's unless deep. it was a you know, I had to leave work for an emergency for her. And so and now, it's just I, not just real I'm, quick, it's not just men, just real quick, it's not just men, it's ladies too. My ex told his mother, he was like, man, we raised ourselves. And she was like, what are you talking about? Mind you, she was a nurse. She's mm -hmm. working all kinds of shifts to just keep a roof over their heads and all that. Well, see, now he's in his 30s. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you weren't there. Mm -hmm. And and there's some resentment. So mm -hmm. it's not just men. Women do that too, you know, yeah, unknowingly, it. but it's important to know. So I think that's great you brought that up. Somebody that's said putting God, God first doesn't God mean putting God. church first. Yeah, what like you say, Trey? I was gonna say, um, yeah, because um, I was raised by a single mother, and 
she was great at, at providing. We didn't want mm. or need anything, but she just wasn't around. Like those talks mm. and uh, bonding relationship or anything wow. like that growing yeah. up. It wasn't like it was a bad household, but we all kind of kept to ourselves, stayed in our room, wow. didn't talk a whole lot, you know. When, and, mm-hmm. But I mean, we didn't want or need for anything because she always worked, made sure everything in the house was always clean. But just that connection. And when it's one parent, later, yeah. later on in life. When it's one parent, you're going to be missing that. 